For a very long time, the concept of magnetism and electricity were believed to be separate concepts which were in no way connected with one another. However, in the year 1820, a scientist by the name of Ersted was able to show a relationship between electricity and magnetism. So he essentially took the needle of a compass and he placed it next to a wire which had a current and that needle pointed itself in the direction with respect to the magnetic field that was produced by that electric current inside that wire. So he was able to show that the electric current within a wire produces a magnetic field. So let's suppose we have the following two wires. The electric current in wire 1 runs downward along the wire and the electric current in wire 2 runs upward along that wire. Now both of these electric currents will produce a magnetic field. But in both cases, the magnetic fields will point in the opposite direction. So, the magnetic field produced by an electric current in a long wire forms concentric rings around the wire as shown in the following two diagrams. So in both cases we have concentric rings. Now the direction of the magnetic field that is produced by our electric current can be determined using the right hand rule. So let's examine this right hand rule which is also known as right hand rule number one. So this is the right hand rule that applies to magnetic fields as a result of electric currents within wires. So we essentially take our right hand, we wrap our fingers around the wire with our thumb pointing in the direction of the electric current. Now our fingers will point in the direction of the magnetic field. So let's apply this rule to wire number one. So we notice that our electric current points downward, so that means our thumb should point downward. Then we take our fingers and we wrap our hand, wrap our fingers along our wire and the motion that our fingers create, the direction of this motion will be in in the same direction as our magnetic field. So our direction will form concentric circles that will point in this direction. Likewise, let's apply that to this wire. So, we take our right hand, we point our thumb in the same direction as our electric current, which means our thumb points upward. And then we take our fingers and we curl them in the same direction as our magnetic field, and we curl them around our wire as shown. So that means in this case, the magnetic field points inward, and in this case, the magnetic field points outward as shown. Now, let's apply the same exact right hand rule to a current moving inside a loop of wire as shown. So let's suppose we have the following loop in which our electric current points in a counterclockwise direction as shown. And let's examine this loop in which our electric current points in the clockwise direction as shown. So we take our wire and we extend our thumb in the direction of our electric field which is downward. So we choose this point, it points downward and we wrap our hand around our wire shown. So that means at this particular location our magnetic field points inward as shown. And the same exact thing can be applied for this loop of wire and we see that if we examine this location we apply the right hand rule, our thumb extends upward because our electric uh, current points upward, we wrap our hands and we see our electric or our magnetic field extends outward as shown in the following diagram. So once again, there exists a relationship between electricity and magnetism, that is, any time we have an electric current within a wire, that electric current will produce a magnetic field and the direction of the magnetic magnetic field can be determined using the right hand rule also known as right hand rule number one.